Sort of had a coyote touring through here. Not exactly uncommon, but plenty of wildlife. There's a wild one right there. <laughs> oh yeah. This is uh, how we spend a good part of pretty near every day. I think part of, of just having such an abundance of available nature here, it just, you can't help but want to be here. It doesn't really matter if you're out here for, you know, a project or a purpose walking the dogs or just catching some fresh air it's it's you know it's something that's just in your heart to be here it would be something to to have more people have the opportunity if nothing else to see and appreciate this because you know there'd be a whole lot less differences of opinion on people's attitude towards wild land and clear cutting and you know, so many other destructive things that people do for greed. Maybe if they learn to appreciate things as they are here, well, I like to think it would make a difference. There's a little junction over there with coyote tracks. I don't know if I can pick this up in the sunlight, but... Oops, sinking. And there's some varying hair, jackrabbits, who have been coming along the, sh the bush line here. Apparently the two have met. Well, might be a good day to take up a logging road. This goes for probably 30 kilometers or more. Be an interesting walk. This, uh, this area that I'm standing on now, this open area, <clears throat> these roads go for hundreds and hundreds of kilometers. This particular road goes probably 10 miles or more back into the bush and it's a seasonal road it won't be used after this year this one's winter season they'll be logging out of here and then they won't be back in here for you know, who knows how long and as much as that sounds like great access for us it's not really because this more open area where I'm standing now turn around a bit here is a, is a great big marsh and it goes off around to the left at the far end there and goes for several miles and if it wasn't for the fact that this is frozen and packed down by graders and machines I'd be up to my neck in muck right now so you can't get through here in the summertime it, it's just you know and there'll be in the in the 10 miles that this road goes there could be dozens of these little swamp crossings that that you just can't navigate in the summertime. So it's a really it's really an unfortunate thing that we can't get the use of these roads to get back into some really quiet places uh, year round, but it's not the way it works. You could hike in here, but you'd still have you'd still whether you hike or whether you come in with a four-wheeler, you've still got to deal with all these swamps and marshes and and places that are just almost impenetrable in in this in the what short summer we have. 
there's, there's, I mean, the whole population of this county is only about 300 people, so it's hardly, hardly a busy spot. So there's no problem finding quiet places, but the amount of open areas that they've created and these thousands of square miles of crown land here is, is crazy. And so little of it can be utilized beyond that one season. Maybe that's the moose that made the tracks. Well, almost. But here we are <coughs> along the side of this old road with some moose tracks. I don't know how well they're going to show up on this, but you can see the sort of the high spot in the middle and the deep tracks on either side. And if, if I lean over here a bit, if you can see how far down that goes. Get in there. That goes down a good three feet at least. And this snow here, although it doesn't look like much because it looks level, is actually at least waist deep. And again, I don't know if you can see it in there. Just along the tree line there, just inside. And over, actually everywhere I look. There's just a whole series of moose pathways. This whole area here is... There's another one that this is right into the sun. That's probably not going to work for you, but... It goes straight off directly down the middle of the screen in the distance. And it's just this whole area... Oops, I'm sinking. It's just filled. I don't know if you can see the trenches in the snow. Let's see if I can zoom in here a little bit. Well, maybe if I can get some level ground here so I don't. Okay, I'll see if I can start there. There. And it goes all along through there. I can't really see it on the screen, so I hope I'm actually getting it on film here. But there are definitely more moose, bears, lynx, coyotes, wolves and all kinds of small game, the occasional cougar, rarely, in this area here. It's just tracks everywhere. Anyways, I'm going to end it here. We've covered probably four miles approximately of this road, and then when we hiked that Skidoo Trail, uh, we were probably a good half mile along that, but it was tough because we were sinking way over our ankles in there, so it, well, the dog's not so much, but I was. If I'd have planned on doing that, I would have been wiser to bring snowshoes. However, that's it for today. We'll see you again. <laughs>